everyone. My name is Abby Bliss White and today I thought we would play with a little bit of new makeup. It's taken me a while but I did break down and I bought a few of the Chantecai Beautiful Luminescent Eyeshadows. Today I'm going to do a quick and easy look with the Pangolin shadow which is just so pretty and so unique. I really don't have anything like this in my collection and I just wanted to share with you a quick and easy eye using this gorgeous shadow. So pretty. As well as a few other items that I have picked up recently and then I also had a request to please use this foundation on camera again because some of you are on the fence between the Surratt Dew Drops and this guy. So. I just thought I would do another video using this so you could see it in action, and I hope that this is helpful. They're both fantastic foundations. <laughs> so if you are interested in seeing how I got this look using this beautiful shadow, as well as some other favorite goodies, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay guys, we are going to play with some new makeup. So excited about the Chantecai shadow. Ah, you guys, this is gorgeous. But first of all, many of you have been kind of asking me um, if I could do another video using this Sicily uh, Fito Tint Ultra Eclat. You're trying to decide between the Surratt Dew Drops and this amazing foundation as well. So today I thought I would just go ahead and use it so you could see this in context. And then we're gonna do a really pretty simple eye using this beautiful Chantecai shadow. So let's get this on. Whoops, you guys, I need to shake it up, sorry. Okay, I am in the shade Soft Beige with this. And you guys, yes, I still love this foundation. So I have been wearing the Syrah um, Dew Drops a lot. I love this one. It's been in my rotation. I've got a couple more that, um, you guys, I am just a foundation junkie. Always on the search. So we are going to put this on this morning. Might help if I have a mirror, right? <laughs> okay. I'm going to just buff this into my skin and then I'll bring you up for a close up. Hey guys, bringing you up close. This is about a pump and a half of that Sicily with soft in soft beige. So the thing that I really like about this foundation is that it is going to sink into my skin and look just like skin. Um, feels awesome on the skin. And again, I'm just gonna kind of let this uh, melt in. We're going to use a little bit of concealer. I'm going to use my little combo that I've been using lately. That is the Chanel Rose Corrector as well as my um, Tom Ford in Pale Dune. We'll put a little bit of that on my eyes. taking a little bit of this guy. I did have someone, they pointed out that this basically was Smashbox um, concealer and um, that you can buy it for much cheaper, you guys. So I did have a Nordstrom note um, and a little gift card. So I bought this on sale. Uh, but if that is the case, you guys, I am really enjoying this and I would try the Smashbox one. I'm just going to use a teeny bit, you guys, to kind of lighten up just a little bit. It has a really thin consistency, and I'm just finding it to be kind of nice and forgiving on my older eyes. I 
Okay, next, you guys, we are using the beautiful Chantecaille. This is the Pangolin shade, which is described as a dusty violet. You guys, look how beautiful the packaging is. Now, the thing that I love about this is that I do love Chantecaille, you guys. People ask me all the time why I don't purchase it as purchase products from them more often and I'm gonna be honest with you, my local Nordstrom that I go to the most does not, shell, does not sell that brand. Thus, the reason why I don't um, always pick up everything. But you guys, I have been intrigued by these. I was gonna pass because I have so many eyeshadow, but you guys were like, no, I have to get some. So I have this one, I have another one coming my way in Elephant, and then I'm kind of thinking I want one more. So if I were to get one more, you guys let me know which one. So this is described, the pangolin, you guys, is a shy, unique creature. So the pangolin is a very unique and shy mammal creature. <laughs> and unfortunately, you guys, it is one of the most trafficked uh, mammals on the planet because they think these beautiful little scales have medicinal properties. So the foundation that uh, Chantecai has teamed up with is the Tiki Highwood Foundation. It's in Zimbabwe and it focuses on the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of the pangolin as well as other illegally traded animals across Africa. I love the fact that they are a philanthropic uh, company and you guys, their products are just gorgeous. So let's open this guy up. And this is a Penny made me buy it. She was like, you are going to love this color. It's so unique and gorgeous. And you guys, this is in this really pretty wet dry formulation. Wow, check out that. Ugh. Um, I also talked to Alice and Chase about it and she was like, this is one of the most unique shades that she has ever tried. So she was like, I would definitely get one of these. Now, from what I've heard, there is a little bit of fallout and Penny said, you know what, you might wanna go ahead and just use a wet brush with it. Just go ahead and start that way. So. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna zoom you in just a little bit. Let's take this guy, oh, so pretty. I don't even know why I was hesitating. So the other one I have coming is Elephant. And I'm just pack this on a brush. You guys, this is a, um, I think this is an It Cosmetics. And I am just going to, ooh, wow. This is so pretty. Okay, you guys, I am so, already loving this shade. Look how unique that is. So I am going to kind of pack this on. I also love the idea of kind of a one shadow look. I'm going to use a little bit of a bronzer in my crease, you guys, but I am going to go ahead and pack a little bit more of the shadow on because that is so pretty. Wow. Wow. You guys, I am absolutely loving this shadow. Just a really pretty color. Now, now the other day, Penny from Pensmith Skincare, who's also a dear friend of mine, had... Um, the look of using it with the By Terry Misty Rock. This is one of my favorite cream shadow sticks ever. <laughs> and so I was sold. She was like, you need this. Get pull out your By Terry Misty Rock. I'm gonna put a little bit of that. I'm gonna use this as my eyeliner on the bottom here today. You guys, let me put these together. So if you have this, look at what a gorgeous combination that is. So pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with that. I'm gonna go ahead and line just a little bit on the lid as well. Close to the lash line. I'm 
That is a beautiful combo. I am now gonna take my uh, Chanel Stilo U, and this is in Cassis, so this is a little bit deeper, and I'm gonna just do a little bit um, under my waterline on the top. Okay, you guys, I am gonna use the Ghost Palette, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this bronzer just in the crease, just a teeny bit. I'm gonna be using a little um, fluffy brush here. I believe this is, yeah, this is a Rodeol fluffy brush. I'm just taking that bronzer shade, and I'm just gonna put just a little bit of depth in the center. Wow, just gonna show you. You guys, that is a beautiful shadow, loving it. Oh, I can't believe that I waited so long. While I'm here, you guys, I'm gonna quickly put on a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of blush here, a little bit of highlight. Let's just go ahead and use that palette. Okay, you guys, I am going to go do my brows and I'm gonna use my beloved Chantecaille Mascara. This is so well loved too, but it's about time to get another one. Um, this pretty much is my favorite mascara ever. I just don't like the price. It's $72, but it has lash building ingredients in here that I truly think works. <laughs> Um, it's just one of my favorite mascaras ever. So I'm gonna put that on today and I'll be right. Okay, you guys, eyes are on. Really, really loving this Chantecaille. So pretty. Oh, this is in the Pangolin. So, so happy with that. I will be sure to share about the elephant when it shows up. And again, you guys, I'm on the fence. Do I want rhino? Do I want giraffe? They're all beautiful. Um, okay, I am going to quickly line my lips with a nude lip liner. This is from Chanel. And then I'm going to show you another favorite. This is from Tom Ford. This is another one of the glosses. Yep, I have kind of fallen in love with all of these glosses, you guys. This one is in Impulse and my friend Donna, subscriber <laughs> um, and fellow enabler, told me that I must pick this one up. They were having that sale at um, price matching at Nordstrom, so I was able to pick that up. Just gonna line my lips a little bit. My new thing that I've been really liking is just doing liner and gloss. Um, it just is a really easy combo to wear. Okay, I have lined my lips with that nude Chanel. And then you guys look how pretty. This kind of just goes perfect with today's look. It is just a light pink with a little bit of pearl. It is so pretty. And I'm just gonna put that guy on. You guys, these glosses, they really are so nice. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look using some of the new makeup. I did powder down with these two of the, um, two of the powders from the Hourglass, and that is in Dim Light and Diffuse Light. I basically uh, just put both of them down and 
just quickly did, went down my T-zone and just buffed all around the face real quick. So you guys, I am loving this ghost palette. I haven't put it down since I have purchased it. Um, loving the Tom Ford lip glosses. I know it's an investment, but I am loving them. And then you guys, these shadows are gorgeous. I don't know what took me so long to purchase um, one or two of them, but they are gorgeous and I'm in love with this color love with this color it is just a very unique um i just it has some sort of like you guys reflect in it it's just gorgeous really really enjoying these so that is my look for today playing with some makeup as always you guys let me know what shantakai products you purchased um, or any of these products that you are loving right now and as always thank you for your support have a great weekend and i will talk to you soon